Hello everyone, welcome back to our March Madness Ultimate Hockey Low series. We've already done a video in this series. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. This is the second video in the series and we're pretty pumped to, to do it. I think there's a lot of amazing logos in Pool 3 and Pool 4, which you'll see coming up. Here's the bracket, here's what it looks like. And uh, you guys ready to, to get into this and, and do the first matchup? All right, let's 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 do it. The first matchup is the Cooley Region Chill in the A N A sorry HL versus the Pariti Pirati, I would Pirati say. Shumatov. <laughs> Shumatov. That's of good. The, in the Czech League. Excellent. This is an interesting <sighs> matchup. It is yes. a, it's actually an extremely interesting matchup. Different color combinations, the red and the black versus the blue and the black. Um <clears throat> They're at the same angles, too. One has a hockey element, one kind of doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think one looks more badass than the other, though, which is say where I'm like, leaning. Like, say what you like. Yeah. Parati for me. I've had enough penguins and hockey <laughs> logos. <laughs> <laughs> that one tooth, though, is looking pretty. pretty it's a gold tooth. It's a pirate. I like that there's hockey in that logo, but I think the back end of that bandana thing comes off of the logo too much it just it seems awkward to me my vote would be for the chill Ooh, i was gonna go chill but i thought i was minority i like that the, the font is split from white to blue it matches the color of the penguin he looks he looks pissed yeah my vote's chill i'm i'm not a fan of skulls mm -hmm. Just, uh -oh. just not generally. Uh, well, I mean, everyone has a skull, but I'm not a I'm not a fan of bare, bare skulls, like bare naked skulls with no skin on them. So I think I go with the chill. <laughs> Sorry. That's like in the other video when he said, "You think Canada needs more elephant presence?" <laughs> <laughs> that was a mastodon, not an elephant. Come on. Um, <laughs> it was a mammoth or something. Sorry, what was your vote? Chill. Chill. All right. I'm with Chill, too. Sorry, Joey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chill moving on. Chill moving on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the next matchup is what? the SAPA Firvar AV, uh, and that's in the Australian Hockey League, or sorry, the Austrian Hockey Austrian, League yeah. versus the Rwanda, uh, Rwanda Noranda <laughs> Huskies of the QMJHL. Is that so Nigel got, Thornberry? I think it's, I think it's Ray Romano. I think it's Brad Marchand. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like Michael Thornberry. And the elbow is weird too. It's like a, it's way up there. Yeah. That, that Huskies logo is awesome, actually. Yeah, yeah I've always liked fantastic. that one. I liked it a lot. See, what I did when I made the series is I picked the four best logos from each league. That was one I'm, of the fourth best logos of that league? Some of these leagues don't really have a lot of modern logos. And then you're stuck picking stuff like this. <laughs> so, so what is the string coming out of the skate? I don't know. And what does skate? he not have another skate? Is one of his skates a hook? Like <laughs> 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 well, he's got like a Peter Pan hook going on down there. He's got, Army mateys. He's got a peg I'll, leg. I'll get you with my leg hook. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so Huskies all the way. Oh, yeah. Somebody? Oh yeah. I can't look at that other one ever again. <laughs> okay, next matchup is the Sputnik Nizhny Tagil. Tagil of the Russian VHL versus the uh, Slovan Bratislava. In the KHL. Wow, hmm. this is tough. So one's a beaver and one's an eagle, correct? Yes. I'm down with the beaver. I'm down with the eagle. I think it's approaching the shapes of the original Pittsburgh Penguins logo a little bit. Or not the original one, but the early 90s one. I like the colors. The beaver, just the proportions are wrong. His, his, his nose and his mouth are way far off to the left. It doesn't make any sense. He's at an angle. Yeah, he's but the rest of his head way. isn't. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> his eyes are. It doesn't look right. Yeah, look at look at his left eyebrow and look at his right eyebrow. His ears are the same size though. If the perspective was like that, then his right ear would be bigger than his left ear because left ear would be in behind. Well, maybe he's listening to something coming from the right side, and the left side there's not much going on. He's listening to me telling him that I'm not voting for him. <laughs> All right, he's got my vote. It does have hockey elements, though, the hockey sticks. Well, that's the thing. I appreciate it. I, the I love the eagle, the colors, and all of that. However, I don't see that as a hockey symbol of any kind, whereas the other is pretty obviously hockey. So I'm torn, frankly. Oh. Really enjoy. You've casted your official vote, right, for the beaver? I'm with the beaver. All right, I've casted mine for the eagle. And Joey is an American, so are you, like, oh, yeah. are you tied to the eagle just by patriotism <laughs> values? 
that's not the reason, but I would probably go with the eagle anyway. Heck yeah, Because I like the man. ruffled feathers down in the middle of the logo there. Ruffled feathers. It adds some depth to it. Yeah. Instead of it just being a white line, you know? I, I could go eagle, too. Just it's less cartoony. I think the beaver looks messed up, too. I don't know. Yeah. There's yeah. something wrong with it. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. He's I, just chilling. And his teeth are like... His teeth are curved bent. Like down and in or something. I don't know. And if the tiebreaker is writing versus no writing, then the eagle wins there, too. Yeah. Because the, the Sputnik is, is nice, but it's... Yeah. All right. It says too much. So the next matchup is the Atlante in the Russian MHL versus the Hawksbury Hawks of the CCHL. Generally, just the, the fact that that team is called the Hawksbury Hawks mm-hmm. really makes me angry. Hawk. I, it, I obviously it makes sense, but it just it's it sounds weird to me. Color wise, I probably like the Russian logo more. I like that Russian logo. I, I do too. I think it's well done. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's actually extremely well done. It's very modern. The shield itself has dimension with the shading of the edges. Uh, hockey stick, hockey glove, guy, helmet, unique font. Even though I no, don't know what really what it says, my vote would be for the Russian logo. So it's Atlantia, Atlantia, Atlantia. Hell, one almost looks like the Philadelphia Eagles logo. Yeah. With text on yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah. So, we're in consensus? Yeah. Yep. All right. The next matchup is the <clears throat> Banska Bistrica. Bistrica. The Dodge Rams. It's in the Slovakia <laughs> Extra Liga, <laughs> and it's versus the Selkirk Steelers of the MJHL. So, we're going all over here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Get together. <laughs> so we got a Brahma bull, and we got a crazy guy. That's a that's a that's goat. a go, uh, that's a ram, I think. Not a, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, a, that's a male goat. Not a bull. The Brahma bull is the Dodge Ram. Oh yeah, like yeah, just the face by itself. Take the yeah. horns away. It does look like a bit of like a bull, but uh, no, I'm going Steelers all the way on this one. Steelers. He's got the, he's got a charger. bent eye beam. Yeah, yeah that's, that's perfect. Badass. Turn that into a hockey stick. You wouldn't want to get two minutes for high height no. with that thing, would you? <laughs> what are you going with? Steelers. Okay, I wouldn't go with it, so we're good. Steelers. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, moving on to right. the next matchup. Oh, the boy. Pensacola <laughs> Ice Flyers in the SBHL versus the... The Torpedo. Torpedo Novgorod. In the KHL. Yeah. Hmm. This is tough. I this really, is, I really like that. They're the both, KHL one. I designed really well. I like the little tips on the Ice Flyers one. Yeah. Looks like the aviation wings on the emblem. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think they both probably look amazing on a jersey. I think they both do. I like the Ice Flyers. It's a it's a tribute to the Pensacola Naval Air Station. I believe it is. There's lots of uh, military naval or uh, aviation activity there. I believe that's where the Blues Angels are home. Or that's where their home is as well. In Pensacola? It's in Florida somewhere, I believe. Okay, I didn't know that. But... Yeah, I'm I'm with Pensacola. Also, I like notice, the other one, though. Do you know us hockey sticks in the jet? I do now. Mm. <laughs> ah, I do now. I did not at first. Mm. That's nice. I love the other one. It's nice. I like. I prefer the colors of the, the KHL one, but overall, I'm going to vote for the Ice Flyers as my official vote. Me too. If the Minnesota Wild came up with a special jersey that looked like that, would you want Ooh, it? Ooh, heck yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm with Ice Flyers, though. Yep. All right. Ice Flyers moving on. The next matchup is the uh, HK Poprad in Slovak Extra Extraliga versus the Adirondack Thunder in the ECHL. Wow. This one's easy for me, boys. Yep. Going Thunder all the way. Thunder. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And that's nothing against the other logo. It's <clears throat> no. actually a pretty decent logo. Next matchup is the Al McGuin. Al McGuin Spartans of the GMHL versus the EK Zellers S. Baron of the ice Alps, <laughs> Alps HL. So these Ice Baron is an ice bear or polar bear, mm-hmm. right? That's what you would call it. So I really like the colors of that that uh, bear. One with the yellow and the blue look good together. But the text is so huge. That's just it. It's another logo that's, I mean, it's a polar bear, so it's fine. Yeah. But it's just like a black and white logo with big colored letters. And he also looks sleepy. Kind of. He looks like he's moping around. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the Spartans one looks similar to the Ottawa Senators logo that we know. It does. The original Ottawa Senators logo. A little bit. Yep. I'm going to go with the Spartans because I think the text is just too big. I agree. I'm also voting with the Spartans. Me too. Spartans. 
All right, next up, starting round two, we've got the Cooley Region Chill versus the Rouen Naranda Huskies. Uh, QMJHL versus the NAHL. That's nasty, yo, this, this one's actually pretty tough. Yeah. I usually have a quick opinion in, inside that I want to so you know what? This is the way that I'm feeling with this one. This one's a thinker, I think. I'm down with the QMJHL logo. I like it, too. I'm voting for the chill, I think. I just think it's it's got more dimension. I like the colors better and less generic font. His eyes are watering, though. Yeah, it's because <laughs> no he's, he's crying. Man, he's crying ice pellets <laughs> to destroy his enemies. I got to go with the Naranda on that one, too. Oh. Damn. Right. Right on. There you go. Next matchup in round two is the uh, Slovan Bratislava in the KHL versus the Atlantia. Atlantia in the Russian MHL. Russian logo versus... Russian logo? Is that... Basically, is that Bratislava, yeah. one in, yeah. in Russia, or is that in... Well, it says KHL, so... Well, there's a team in the, Finland in the KHL. Yeah, so I think that would be in the Russian League, or KHL, as yeah, we know. Continental it, it Hockey is. League, so... I, I voted for the Eagle... The first time, the first matchup with the Eagles in, I'm voting for the other one. In this I am one. also voting for the other one. I agree. The Atlante. Yep. Atlante. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Yep. Next matchup, the Selkirk Steelers oh, from the man. MJHL versus the Pensacola Ice Flyers from the SPHL. I like the Steelers over this one. I'm taking Ice Flyers because I didn't like the Steelers last round. I don't like the amount of bevel that's on the Steelers font. Um I think the Ice Flyers logo is a little bit more modern. My vote's for the Ice Flyers. I really like the Selkirk Steelers, what they've done with the the industry and how they've made that into the hockey logo. But I can't vote against that airplane and that logo. I just can't do it. So, <laughs> All right. Pensacola. Next matchup is the Almaguin Spartans of the GMHL versus the Adirondack Thunder of the ECHL. To me, this one's also a no-brainer. The Thunder. Of, yep, I agree. Thunder. Thunder all the way. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Now we're getting through this one quick. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now on to round three. And this side of the bracket, the Rand, Miranda Huskies, so the QMJHL versus the Atlante and the Russian MHL. Uh, this one's kind of tough. I really like the Atlante one, but for some reason, there's something about that Huskies logo I just really like. So I'm going with Huskies. Even though I really like that other one. I personally prefer the Russian Atlante logo. I like the colors better. It has hockey elements in it, so that has my vote. Agreed. I like the hockey element there. It's not present in the Huskies logo. There's nothing I love there. it. No. Yeah. I hate I hate to do this, but I like the Huskies one. Over oh, there. thank you, Joey. My yeah. Man. Okay. What I like about the, the the Russian one is it's not a typical shield. It just has this bit of a perspective tilt to it, which gives it just a different shape than we're used to just from the typical shield. That's another thing I liked about it. It was just a subtle element. Is that a hockey player though, or is that? Uh, he almost like looks a, like he's a wearing like a or? gas mask, or he's ready to he's kill got somebody. Goggles on. Yeah, he's he, looks, got, he looks angry. He looks like he's got like a I, gas mask on. And I like that the font is unique. Well, on the Naranda one, it's just generic yeah. block font. I like all the little coming out like, of the husky. It's just that if it was just the husky, the head. See, even that circle, it doesn't bother me. I think it's. I like it. Which is kind of weird, the I guess. Huskies logo reminds me of the Arizona Coyotes. I was just going to say, I wish the Coyotes did something <laughs> like, more like this. <laughs> if, it, if it comes down to um, graphic taste, maybe we can't settle that. Because I mean, maybe Joe and I just prefer one style over another. But if it comes down to which one is a better hockey logo, maybe we have to look at the hockey Russian logo, logo and saying that at yeah. least there's a stick, a guy, a glove. Mm -hmm. It's clearly about hockey, yeah. whereas... Again, you could say, is this an NBA logo? And, right. And it could be. Mm -hmm. Timberwolves, yeah. It could be the Rouen Miranda Bowlers, for all we know, right? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. Or shout out players. to the QMJHL, but yeah. I will concede to the hockey logo. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Atlante moving on. Okay, so the next matchup, oh. which is extremely difficult, is the Pensacola Ice Flyers of the SPHL versus the Adirondack Thunder of the ECHL. Guys, this is... I feel like I feel like these are top logos that could potentially win this entire video against each other. We have to eliminate one. Uh, I do have a favorite though. I think I do too. And I'm You guys are thinking Thunder. Huh? I, I prefer have. I prefer the Thunder. Me too. Yeah. It's so well designed. 
the hockey nature of it is more prominent. You don't have to go trying to find it in the airplane yep. uh, or like you do in the airplane. It's right there. He's he's wielding it. He's mad. He's fit. Um, I wouldn't want to play against him. It's just a subtle element, too, of the lightning bolt coming down uh, to the middle of the tee. Yeah. Something so simple adds a lot. Yeah. Yep, I'm with you. Sweep? Sweep. 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 Wow, okay, sweep. All right, we have the final matchup in this entire side of the bracket. We have the Atlante and the Russian MHL versus the Adirond- and Adirondack Thunder of the ECHL. Both both have hockey elements in it. Mm-hmm. Both very well designed. Color combination of both. Very appealing. It's difficult, but I do have a favorite. I'm going with the Russian one. I like the Thunder one. I like the Thunder one. I think I'm in the minority. That's okay, though. I like the blue and the gold better than the black and the red orangey. I completely agree. I like the colors better of the Russian one. Although I am voting for the Thunder. I think if you gave me a choice between two jerseys and they were in their actual colors, I think I would like the Russian jersey yep. better. I, I 100% agree with I, that. I, I agree as well. Yeah. Um, but that's not what this video is about. That's not <laughs> what this video is about. It's about the logo. And right. uh, the Thunder has won this side of the of the bracket. So let's reset and go on to the other side. Pool four? Yeah. We've got a bit of a rhythm going now. So. Except for in this video, we've laughed like crazy. <coughs> what is this crap? Don't be cheating and prejudging. I can't help it. I got to open them. <laughs> wow, this is a no brainer. This one. <laughs> Come on. H one N one versus. <laughs> Fuck. Versus COVID nineteen. <coughs> oh, too far. All right. One two. Wait, we're not switching okay. jerseys again, are we? No, the same video. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. All right, here we are to do the other side of the, of the bracket. This is pool four. In the first matchup, we have the HV seventy one in the SHL. That's from Sweden. Against the Sirbinski Sir Sniper. And that's the Russian MJ, Basically the snipers. M- yeah. MHL. Yeah, the snipers. That's quite clear from the rifle he has in his hand. It's a fox with a sniper rifle. That's awesome. It is. It is <laughs> this awesome. is not even a fair matchup. To no. Me. Yeah. Do, does anyone know what the HV-71 is or represents or stands for or anything? I 71? think we did it one time. We did it one time. I, I, I forget the actual H and the V. The 71 is the year that the team was, was stood okay. up and created. So, okay. And it's very common in many European yep. leagues to have the year of the founding of the team part of the, the team identity. Mm-hmm. Um, but this looks... It's an extremely popular logo over there. It Mind it's iconic. You. It's come, almost like the Davos logo. A yeah. <clears throat> I mean... It was also, if it, I mean, if this is a 71, this logo was made a long time ago. We weren't even alive when this logo was made. And, but that's the thing, when coming from some of these leagues, they haven't redesigned their mm-hmm. logo because that's just not what you do. You have the original logo. Mm-hmm. So I do like it compared to the other logos in that league. Maybe because we're not familiar with it, we don't have that attachment that they might correct. have. I think that's it. I but think you're right. I think it's kind of like the Yankees logo that could probably be redesigned, kinda. but it's been the same forever. Yeah. So. so clean sweep? Clean sweep. Yeah. Foxy moving on. Okay. Next matchup is the Nippon Hawks, Hawks. Hawks versus in, or in the SJHL versus the Cornwall Colts, and that's they are from the CCHL. I honestly, compared to the other logos we've been looking at, these aren't doing it for me. Neither of them. The one on the right looks like the horse looks sick. <gasps> yeah, it looks like it's like this crying is... or something. Like his eye isn't. It's not fierce. If I look at the horse logo and cross my eyes just a little bit, I see a Pepsi logo, but with Coke font. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of which are a sponsor of this channel. There's, there's too much white space in the Colts. It looks like someone went to do some screen printing and forgot a couple of colors. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of either one, but for, for between these two, it's hands down. Like what looks the best from a distance, and that's going to be the Hawks. The Hawks looks like it would be like a high school... On like hockey those letter jackets, yeah, or like something. like where we're in fractor right now. FHS has kind of a black cat that looks like that. It's just it's just yellow and black. There's no shading. It's just it almost looks like it was done in paint, kind of like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so your votes the Hawks. Most the Hawks, but uh, I'm with you. I'm not. Your votes the Hawks. Yep. Joey. Yep. Hawks My all the way. Colts. No, you lose. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Next matchup oh, is the man. Glasgow <laughs> Clan That's and the great. EIHL. Look at that, dude. Versus the Barry Colts of the O. So that guy looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and, and he's I, got a hockey stick and a sword and it's yeah. purple if my stick breaks look at this here <laughs> yeah, like, I'm coming he's, he's set it's I don't even have to say anything not, not even close I'm Scottish so I mean come he on almost, he almost reminds me of the 
guy on Mighty Ducks that was like the scary guy that everyone oh. was scared of that took their super hard slap shots. Yeah. Do you know that, have you seen oh, Daredevil? Yeah. Do you know his friend, the lawyer? Yeah. That's him. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Uh, that's easy. I don't Glenn. plan every day of the week. Twice on Sunday. We think Joey. Yep. All right. Plan all the way. All right. Debate you, but there's nothing to debate there. Nope. The next matchup is the Bolzano Brosen Bosen Foxes in the Austrian H Hockey League. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Versus the Minnesota Magicians in the NAHL. We are looking for a new narrator if you're out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help <Exactly>. wanted. <laughs> this one's no brainer to me. I like that Foxes logo. What? Really? Mm. Uh, so the other, the other way. Wait, what do you do? What? I'll say the other way. I like the magicians. Absolutely, one way magicians. better. He's, look at him. He's pissed. He's got a hockey stick. There's too much black there or something. It's gonna make you disappear. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling that magicians one. I'm okay to lose, but it, does that resemble at all the outline of? Once Minnesota? again, if these were on jerseys, I think the foxes one would look better. Uh, not really. I think the perspective of the fox is the nose isn't long enough. Well, the nose is hidden behind the. I think it's in the front. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the X where it's flat in the top. Oh, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. Yeah, you're kind of right. I do like the font of Foxes, though. It's I like how it you had the big F and the small S. Um, I There's nothing against it. I really like it, but that Magician's logo. The Magician just looks like a clip art from Microsoft Word. Yeah. Like, if you open up Microsoft wrong. Word and... I don't know, I'm with Foxes, but I'm okay to lose. I just, I like it better. All right. I think I have to swing towards the Magicians here, but not overly enthusiastically. I just... <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, magicians. So 3 1, I think. All right, I lose. All right, next oh. up is the Blind River Beavers of the NOJHL versus the Vienna Capitals of the Austria Hockey League. Is that the same font that Washington uses? It looks very similar, doesn't yep. it? Yep. It's the Capitals and Hurricanes <laughs> combined a little bit. The Beavers is made out of wood. The Beavers it's got a lot amazing. going on Look there. At the font. The font's awesome, but it's busy. It's oh, very busy. busy. He's pissed though. I don't think it's going to win overall, but I think it's, I think it's better than that. Although, if you had a jersey with that shared similar colors, that would be a very bold and in-your-face, probably a pretty cool jersey for the Capitals. My vote would be for the Beavers, though. Hmm. I think I would too, just because of the over similarity between the fonts of the Capitals yeah. and Washington. It I'm does okay have hockey elements to it as yep. well. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Joey? Yep, Beavers. Okay. Moving on, we have the oh. Timmins Rock of the NOJHL versus the Minnesota Wild of the mm. NHL. Uh, I have uh, to say, I've never seen the Timmins Rock logo before. First time I've seen it, and I really like it. I really like it too. Wow. The colors work really well together. The, burgundy the, yeah. the, the, glove, the, the glove is... The hockey glove with the pickaxe thing, it's, that's awesome. But we're so accustomed to seeing the Minnesota Wild logo. Oh, what, we, if, what if we saw that for the first time right now? Well, we know the Minnesota Wild logo is good. I, but yeah. What if we didn't? What if we just saw it for the first time? Would we actually think it's... No, I would still like the Timmins Rock one better. Really? Yeah. Like, don't imagine it on a jersey because you know what the colors are. Just imagine the logo. I really like the Timmins Rock logo, but that pickaxe just... Is it too big? It's too big for the rest of the logo. That would be my only negative about it is it's too big. Also, Minnesota Wild doesn't have any font. So I, I, I have to vote Minnesota Wild. I got to say I like that. The Minnesota Wild incorporates so much. It's it's the head of an animal. It's a river. It's it's a, the Polaris mm -hmm. star. It's the moon at night. It's, I have never seen the head of the animal before. I just see that now. Oh, sorry. Really? Yeah. I've never seen the head of the animal. Nope, that's never. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. it was. I just thought it was a stream. Oh, that's oh. his mouth. Yeah. You, really? Yeah, I've never, I've never <laughs> noticed that before. Is it a cat or is it a bear? It's a bear. Okay, I always thought it was a cat until I looked at it a little bit closer. I'm like, oh, actually, that's a bear. Yeah, I think it's a bear too. But I, I have to give that maximum points for artistic intelligence. The uh, other one to. is a little easier. Could it be a callback to the Minnesota North Stars as well? With that, well, with that star, star, you just wonder, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little nod. Yeah. Final vote. Minnesota. Oh, wow. Minnesota. All the way. Yep. I am. You're torn. I'm looking at life a new way now. I've never seen that there before. <laughs> that actually changes my vote because I've never seen that before. But it's super obvious now. That I look at it. I just thought it was just like this shape with a stream going towards the trees. <laughs> no, I'm with the Minnesota Wild one. That's yeah. cool. I like that actually. Cool. All right. right on. 
Next matchup is the Iroquois Falls <laughs> Eskies in the NOJHL versus the Lecky in the second league in Finland, the Mestis. <laughs> Say it with confidence, Bill. <laughs> uh, new narrator, please. This you're, one's you're doing great. so easy to me. It's is that an funny. anteater on the right? <laughs> it's not, but what is it, like, what is it supposed it's to be? It's an angry sloth. It's a... Like what is it for real though? Is it, it a wolverine a, it or something? Like a badger, but it, it does look like a badger or an anteater or something because yeah. it's got that big nose thing. Yeah. It's, obviously not, it's, it's, not, it's obviously not. It's obviously not an anteater. My, what a large proboscis you have! <laughs> <laughs> My vote's for the Eskies. Me too, Eskies. Yeah, hundred percent. That look was amazing. Heck and I yeah. just now realized that it has a spoke. Oh, spoke me. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> All right. Next up is the cuckoo. From SM League in Finland versus the Lone Star Brahmas of the okay. NHL. The cuckoo looks like too much like the old NHL logo. It does. <laughs> Quite like a bit. Literally the same colors and everything. But it's amazing. Because it's cuckoo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the Lone Star Brahmas is also pretty amazing. You got the star in the background, which represents and Texas. It's a bull. So like the Brahma bull. The bull. The hockey stick in there. I like the the color. It's almost like a... I, I see it more purple than blue on, on this screen. But uh, I, I would vote Brahmas. Yeah. Ooh, it's got a Texas. It's got. Uh, yeah, we were trying it. to look at the. It's got a tattoo of the state nice. on its kind of hide. Well done. Yeah. Brahmas. Nope. No brain. Brahmas. Brahmas. Okay. Yep. All right. On to the next round of this bracket. We've got the snipers, the Russian uh, team out of the MHL versus the Nipawin Hawks of the SJHL. It's it's easy for me. Yeah. Snipers all the way. Yep. Sibirsky, good for Siberia. <laughs> I like. Next matchup is the Glasgow clan of the EIHL versus the Minnesota Magicians of the NAHL. I'm going Glasgow <clears throat> because I don't really care for that Magicians clan. logo. The clan logo is yeah. freaking amazing. It's awesome. It must go forward. It's like Braveheart. All right, this is quick. Moving <clears throat> on. The Blind River Beavers of the NOJHL versus the Minnesota Wild of the NHL. I'm going to go with the Minnesota Wild logo that looks like a bear. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Wild. No yep. contest. Wild moving on. Next matchup, the Iroquois Falls Eskies of the NOJHL versus the Lone Star Brahmas of the NAHL. <clears throat> Eskies for me. Yep, Eskies. Same as, Eskies for me. Same as here, yeah. well, That was quick. All right, first matchup in round three of the side of the bracket is the Snipers from the MHL of Russia against the Glasgow Clan in the EIHL. Again, easy for me. Glasgow Clan. Glasgow Clan. I have... I have yes. to apologize to Sibirsky snipers. <laughs> Next matchup is the Minnesota Wild from the NHL versus the Iroquois <clears throat> Falls Eskies of the NOJHL. Wow. I'm going with the Eskies on this one. I don't like that it has Boston Bruins elements in it, and it's against an NHL logo. Yeah, but the Eskimo wielding that, hockey sticks, that's... It's incredible. <laughs> I'm still going to vote for it. How did I not see that bear head? <laughs> That's blowing my mind right now, know, man. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know who's going to win, though. What are you going with? I'm going with Eskies because I Ooh. like the overall design. I Like I said, I don't like the spoke thing in the background that reminds me of the Boston Bruins, but I think overall... That kind of seems out of place, doesn't it? It, it seems a bit out of place. It has, it has more personality, I think, than the Minnesota Wild one. I never thought I'd vote against the, the Wild, but I really like the aggressiveness of that. The Falls logo. Yep. Eskies for me. All right. Eskies yep, it is good. then. Ooh. Okay. So here we have it. The finals oh, in, wow. in Pool 4. The Glasgow Clan versus the Iroquois Falls Eskies. A tough matchup. Maybe. Easy for me. Easy for me. <laughs> Not a problem. It's Glasgow Clan all the, all the way for me. This, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, is, this might be my favorite logo like ever. So Not I for I, me. I can't vote against it. Not for me. You're going with Eskies? No, I'm just saying it's not my favorite oh. logo ever. <laughs> but even like the, the the Celtic knotting and, and rope stuff yeah. in the background, like it just it's they've thought everything through. The, they've got the tartan. <laughs> That's what I was liking. Like yeah, and they got the dude. Uh, he's <laughs> he's got the, <laughs> he got the dude. dude. <laughs> a, and I know there's the a dude on the other side. He does have a skull though. I he would, does have a skull. I would yeah. kiss the hands of the person who made this logo. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm going with Clan too. All right, congratulations to the. Glasgow clan, you've moved on to the finals between Pool 3 and Pool 4. Here we are at the finals between Round 3 and Round 4. The Glasgow clan of the EIHL 
versus the Adir- Adirondack Thunder of the ECHL battling against, against each other to win this entire bracket to move on to the final four. What do we say? Vikings versus Scots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slightly applicable. <laughs> I already know my answer, but yeah, I think I, I do think too. for all the reasons we just said, that's what determines the winner. I don't think a lot of what we just said can go into the one. Yeah. To the right. Thunder. There's so many little elements that work just so perfectly with the clan. Like yeah. the Thunder is like a Viking or whatever he is, and that's what he is. And, and there's a ton of Vikings logos. Like you see, you see that in a lot of sports: mm-hmm. hockey, football, whatever. So, Glasgow Clan, you're moving on. Glasgow Clan, you have my vote. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. All right, Glasgow Clan, you have moved on to the final four in our uh, ultimate hockey logo March Madness series. So this wraps up this video. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Coming soon on the channel is the third video in this installment where we have another 32 teams battling against each other in a bracket. We're really excited to do it. If you can hit the subscribe button and join us for that, I'd really appreciate it. I'm yeah. just looking at Jason. He's holding it together. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you haven't seen the, the first one, definitely go check that out, too. All right. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.